Yo, what up guys? Sammy Lee here from the Soul Brothers. Uh, and the other day I got the Jordan Jumpman Diamond Mid in. This is a $120 shoe. It was designed by Tinker Hatfield. This is more of their mid-tier budget shoe. So yeah, if you guys want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. Uh, I did play in it yet. I got it yesterday and played in it once yesterday. So I guess this is my first impressions slash first wear uh, review kind of. Uh, but let's get it start off with the traction. So the traction, you got some diamond shapes here in the middle and then you got a little bit of like herringbone and a few lines here on the side. And the first thing I noticed is that they're really soft nubs. So durability, I don't really know. I don't think it's going to be good. Uh, usually, if the nubs are on the side, the outsole, kind of like the perimeter, then it's more likely to just rip off. But then it's most mostly just in the middle, so I feel like it'll be a little bit better. And, and then on the actual outside of the outsole, on the shoe, it's it's more of like a thicker type of herringbone. So I feel like durability should be okay. Just probably just don't play with these outdoors. Um, but if you're just playing indoors, I think it should be fine. But I do see some fraying on my uh, outsole already. Now that's just dirt. I didn't know it's a combination of both. There's a little bit of fraying and then there's a lot of dirt on it too. But you know, durability seems good. Just don't play with these outdoors, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I played in these yesterday and the traction is nuts. It has a nice loud squeak, not super high pitched and super loud, but it's a nice high pitched squeak. And the bite is insane. It doesn't pick up any dust. I played in the Zoom Freaks. And you know, obviously that, that shoe's not very good on dust. And that, that shoe was not sticking at all, which uh, told me that yesterday it was pretty dusty on the court. But this shoe was sticking and it was sticking hard. So I'm really happy because um, obviously we've been seeing these really soft nub type of traction pattern, you know, like in the Kobe's, like the Hyperdunks and stuff like that. And uh, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not. So I feel, I feel like uh, the pattern really doesn't matter. It's just uh, mostly the rubber compound doing all that and I feel like the rubber compound that they use on this shoe is really really nice So traction, I don't, th I don't I'm not worried about at all besides durability. So all right moving on to the cushion So the cushion I believe um, the runner I, I there's a There's a runner the Jordan runner that has this type of cajun I think and that was like full length react if I remember correctly So I was pretty excited to see uh, I thought it was the same and it was going to be full length react, but uh, obviously it's not. It doesn't really say what type of foam it is in this tech specs on Nike's site. I'm guessing it's just, you know, fine line or just foam, but it's actually pretty soft, you know, uh, pressing on my fingers and, and my finger does dig in a little bit, but obviously you do have this crazy caging and this isn't foam at all. Uh, it's actually plastic, the diamond cage on both sides, on both medial and lateral side. And uh, that does cage uh, the, the cushion a lot you know you, uh, obviously you don't want any compression here on the side especially in the heel because that does make it so that it does feel laterally unstable so that's a good thing um, medial side I don't think is a huge deal you don't, really don't need to cage it here yeah the cushion's really soft uh, there's not a lot of compression in the heel or anywhere in the shoe but I feel my foot kind of like digging into the soft cushion you know so uh, that feels pretty nice there is a zoom in it in the forefoot I can feel it a little bit I, I feel like it, it might be similar to the 0.2, you know, large volume zooming in the forefoot. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what it feels like to me right now. And it feels pretty nice. You feel low to the ground and stuff. Yeah, I, I feel like it'll be a uh, one of those cushions where it's like not too crazy, not too soft, not too bouncy, but it's more on the responsive side and will have, you know, pretty good impact protection. The insole is nothing special. It's just a regular Orsolite insole. Uh, moving on to the materials. So the materials are top notch for a $120 shoe. At first it looked a little bit like a mesh material to me, but it is a textile material. They say it's a textile material. Or I thought maybe it was an EM, you know? So in the forefoot, it does look more of like a jersey material to me. And then on the sides, the on the medial and lateral side, it looks more of like a textile material. You know, it's a little bit thicker, it's a little bit stiffer on the sides, and then the toe is really soft. And I like that because you don't have to have a lot of stiff materials. You don't need support in the toe area, like right here on top. You know, you need support here on the lateral side. And the materials feel premium, it feels nice. You know, it feels really good in hand. It's not super thick, but it's not super thin either. I'd say it's around like just, you know, medium, like super thin being like Curry 6, you know, PG3, Zoom Freaks, and super thick would be like the LeBron 16s. Uh, this is somewhere in between that. 
you know, maybe even a little bit on the thinner side, which I like. I like a really minimal upper. It does get a little puffy here in the ankle area, and there is a good amount of padding. And uh, I don't know why there are these pockets, you know? W what do these do? Some people said it's supposed to help with ankle support, but I don't really know what this bubble does in, in the ankle area, but you know, there's that. But overall, the materials feel great on foot. You know, conforms to your foot, feels really supportive. Really, there's no stretch to the material at all. And then the tongue, it's a nice mesh material. It's a full tongue. It, there, it's not like a tech fit booty where it con connects to a material that goes underneath everything. It's a, just a free flowing tongue. And uh, the tongue is actually pretty well, uh, it's pretty well padded as well. It feels nice on foot. So yeah, for $120, I love it. Uh, it's a great material. All right, moving on to the fit. <laughs> The fit, I went true to size, and this is, uh, okay, so lengthwise, it was, it's pretty good, you know, it's still, like, pretty small, like, my foot is right at the edge, which I like, you know, I like a really snug fit, um, to the edge, I don't like as much, because sometimes, my toe does bang against the tip of the shoe, and that does hurt sometimes, so, I don't like it too tight, like, lengthwise, but I do like a really snug fit in the toe area, and this is the, like, even tighter than the Kyrie Low too, like, so tight. You know, uh, it's choking my foot out actually, and uh, I did get slight needles playing in it. Uh, I'm not a, 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 like super worried because this textile material will break in. Obviously, it'll become a little bit looser, but yeah, right now though, it's still like really, really snug in the toe area. So if you don't like that, and you don't like a snug fit lengthwise either, then I would suggest going up half size, you know? So especially if you're a, a normal footer slash wide footer, 100% go up half size. If you're a super narrow footer and you have a really skinny foot and you like a really snug fit, you should be fine. And uh, obviously, like I said, it'll probably break in. So Also, uh, for fit, uh, one thing that really annoyed me yesterday, when I put on the shoe, you know, I, I like to keep, keep the laces super tight, right? So uh, I lace it up, you know, super tight fit and all that. And uh, this back part, there, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little bit of a, a little sharp angle here and the material isn't like super soft. This part was digging into my Achilles and same with right here. And this part, it, it was rubbing against it, you know, uh, some skin did peel off as well. And it was just really uncomfortable. So I'm pretty sure it'll break in, it'll get softer and stuff like that. But right now that did bother me yesterday a lot. So I, I had to loosen it up a little bit, that did help. So, um, but that's a little complaint right there. Moving on to supporting lockdown, I feel like it's gonna be great. You know, there is an internal TPU heel counter, and then obviously you do have the plastic cage, diamond cage coming up here on the lateral and medial side, coming up a lot actually, and also caging the cushion. So, uh, I think lateral support is gonna be good. It does come up here in the, the heel area and also does extend toward the midfoot. It goes all the way down in the forefoot. So uh, I don't know, forefoot seemed good though. I, I, I didn't feel like it was sliding out in the forefoot at all for lateral movements. But you know, maybe, you know, once I break it in, the, the materials will get softer and I might have a problem with that. But you know, we'll have to see. But everything seems good and it is a high. If, if for ankle support, it felt good as well. So uh, supporting lockdown felt great. And I guess moving on to heel to toe transition, uh, there is a nice little rounded shape here. So it's not clunky at all. Here in the midfoot area, it does come up. It's not totally flat. And then there is a little bit of a rounded shape here in the forefoot as well to help keep you on your toes. And I, I love that shape, it feels great. All right, moving on to the weight, it's 12.95 ounces, basically 13 ounces. And uh, that's slightly on the heavier side. It feels pretty minimal. Besides, I guess, like the extra padding here in the ankle area, so. And then the traction being good and all that, I feel like it's gonna be a very responsive shoe. Moving on to the aesthetics, I think this is Jordan's best looking shoe right now. And this shoe looks super cool, I love it. Tinker Hatfield really killed it with, his, with the design, and it looks great on foot, so. Uh, and there's a cool other colorway with like, um, it's like all black, and then the cage is like an iridescent color. That, that color is really cool as well. The Jordan Jumpman Diamond Mid uh, for $120, which is a good price. I feel like it's gonna be a banger. But anyways, that's my first impressions. If you guys wanna cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.